Alright, morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Welcome to Morning Thoughts, everyone, with SoFlow TV. It's your host with the most. So, let's get right into it. First, I'd like to say to everybody heading out to work on this Thursday morning, to everybody coming in, the list is getting longer for people to big up. So, for everybody going out to work this morning or school, for everybody coming in from the night shift, if it's nighttime where you're at, for all the stay-at-home moms, for all the self-employed people who are on their own clock, for everybody, let's just say everybody, don't it? So big up to everybody this morning, positive vibrations, yes? Alright, let's pick up where we left off yesterday because this story is hot and it's been trending for days now. I'm talking about Movado's story. Dancer, superstar, entertainer, Movado. If you don't know it, Movado um, was issued an ultimatum or a, issued an ultimatum to show up by yesterday, close of business day, at the police station, wanted for questioning in relations to criminal activities and incidents that have been happening in the area which he calls home or his childhood home area then. So, Mavada missed that date. He did not show up. And I did a video yesterday where I said that if the police says you have till Monday to show up at the police station, you're wanted for questioning and you don't show up on that date, what happens next is they usually issue an arrest warrant, right? All right. So I've seen people sending me stuff last night saying uh, Mavada was detained in New York because he was running from prosecution in Jamaica. And I've seen somebody else send me another thing where said he is now on the wanted list, Jamaica's most wanted list by Interpol and all these other kind of things. Well... That's all not true. Currently, Mavada has issued, through his attorney, has issued a apology to the Jamaican police and has said, according to his attorney, irrefutable fact that he left the country actually on Sunday. So that would mean that a day after his incident in Cassava Peace, he flew out of the country the following day on Sunday, right? So he flew out of the country since Sunday. Today is Thursday. It was Tuesday that the um that the order was issued for him to turn himself in for questioning by Wednesday. Today is Thursday. He missed yesterday. He has issued an um an apology, and his attorney has said. Let me move this from in front of my camera. His attorney has said that he had contractual business to tend to, contractual obligations, and that is why he flew out of the country. And as soon as he is done tending to those or fulfilling those contractual obligations overseas, he will be returning to Jamaica to face whatever it is questioning or whatever legal process there is. So that's where the Movado thing is at, all right? No mix-up, no nothing. It's just right there. Now, there's a story that came out of Jamaica. Totally something totally different I'm going to talk about. You can go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section about um, Movado's whole thing that's going on. I do monitor my comment section pretty heavily. So if you leave stupidity, expect it to be erased. Uh, don't even waste your time. We can have a difference of opinions. That's fine. That's always welcome. Disrespect will not be tolerated. As soon as I see it, it's gone. On to a different story now. This one is kind of heart-wrenching. A story came out yesterday about a nine-year-old girl whose body was found in the bushes in Jamaica, right? And one police report was describing a little bit of how her body was found as far as what it looked like. They're saying that there were no bruises on her body, but 
her clothing was fixed. This is how they worded it. Her clothing was fixed in a weird way. So her, I guess her lower clothing was up over whatever the, um, the other half of her body, which would indicate some sexual, uh, she was probably raped. The story gets more disturbing. Her parents, so her parents filed a report saying that their nine-year-old did not come home from school, right? Okay. It wasn't until late in the evening that a search party went out, started searching for her, and I believe it was around 8 p.m. that her body was discovered in bushes nearby. Now, a 13-year-old boy has been brought in and arrested. And again, according to news reports out of Jamaica, both families are receiving counseling. Now, remember, I did a video recently where I talked about the traumatization of our youths in Jamaica and how a lot of these youths in Jamaica are growing up witnessing traumatic events like murders taking place, blood spill, uh, severe violence, and it is playing a part on their psychological development, right? It is playing a part on their psychological development, and they will be acting out. It is going to cause some mental issues along the way, and they will be acting it out. Now, here we have a 9-year-old goes missing, a 13-year-old is held in response for it, and both families are receiving counseling. The, the, the sad thing about this is, whether we want to admit it or not, these aren't back in the day days anymore. Nine-year-old could walk to school back then. You can't send nine-year-old to the shop anymore by themselves. My nine-year-old isn't going anywhere by itself. My 10-year-old isn't going anywhere by himself. My 11-year-old isn't going anywhere by himself. Let alone walk from home to school and it's not in eyesight. Those days are gone. Okay? There are too many predators. People with predatory behavior lurking all over the place. Sometimes it's in the household of the child. Sometimes it's right next door. Your neighbor who get up and laugh with you every day. Morning, Mrs. Smith. Everything all right? Yeah, man. And they have an eye for your little child, boy or girl. And waiting for that opportunity to pounce upon. So the little boy is from the same district as the little girl is from Westmoreland. That is why I'm saying that. That predatory behavior. That little boy probably watched that little girl go to school how many times and realized that enough time she go to school by herself, you know. Alright, now trail her. Can catch her one of them day you're drawing her some bush and that's probably exactly what went down. This is more of a PSA, public service announcement, to tell people or remind people to protect your children. Protect your children. I know some of us grew up in different times when uh, go on outside, go play, and these kinds of things. Errol, come go shop for me. Them kind of thing there. Those days are gone. If this is not the error. This is not the error to be doing all that. Okay? The children need to be protected. You don't send your child anywhere by themselves anymore, period. And I'm not blaming or faulting the parents of this child that sent her to school. They probably, I mean, as Westmoreland, so they probably lived in a community where the parents felt pretty safe. I know people are going to say, how would them feel safe when all that crime and violence was just going on in Westmoreland just the other day? I don't know. Some people are isolated. Some communities are isolated. And some people are isolated from information. So what's going on 
down so might not be affecting us right here so even though it seems close because it shares the same name Westmoreland you know what I'm saying so they probably felt safe in their little isolated community only to find out that the same type of violence has reached their doorstep inside their house actually but feel for the little girl I don't even know what else to say but here we have Two, I wouldn't say two lives lost. He's 13. I'm sure they're not going to lock him up and throw away the keys forever. But what happens to this little boy from now? If he is found to be the person that is responsible for, which he, had, he already has. I'm waiting to see how much further the story develops. Like, did he confess? Or did he give a graphic detail of what happened and what he did for them to put out in the papers that he's in custody and both families are receiving counseling. I don't know why they would be giving counseling to his family as well if he was not an intricate part of what just happened to this little girl. I'm going to end this video by saying this. Have a peaceful and productive day. Don't fall asleep out there. And when I say don't fall asleep out there, I mean sometimes we want to shut down and not take in what's going on around us. But these are not the times for that. We have to stay vigilant in these times. All right. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people that are around you. Pay attention to your circle. Check the people that are in your circle. Yeah. Check the people that are in your circle. You know how they say keep your circle tight? Check the people that are in your circle. And if you check them all the time, today is a day to check them again. All right? And get that circle tight. Protect yourself so you can be in a position to protect those in your circle that need protecting, like children elderly and yourself all right i'm gonna leave it right there man it's soulflow tv like comment share subscribe leave your comment in the comment section below big up on yourself and thanks for tuning in to another morning thoughts i'm out peace